everybody! Moonstone Island is getting released tomorrow! And super thanks to the humans of Studio Supersoft, I was given a free key before the launch, and because I got super excited, here's a head start guide! 10 beginner tips that you can do for an efficient first week in Moonstone Island. By the way, this video is a hacking chunk of spoilers, so... Yep, tread lightly. Anyways, number one, the warp whistle and the talismans. Upon arriving, quickly head south to get the warp whistle and the talisman. You should also head north to get the other talisman. You need to craft a couple of bridges for this one though. But let me explain what this item does. The whistle teleports you back to the center of the town. You can only use this once per day, but it's very good to use once you've unlocked more islands or when you're lazy to walk back home, or maybe when it's almost bedtime, because you wouldn't want to oversleep. On the other hand, the talismans can be fed to your spirits to modify their deck. You can either remove, add, or upgrade a card. And of course, a better deck would also mean more powerful spirits. Number 2. Stamina and Oversleeping As I said, you wouldn't want to oversleep. About oversleeping, you have to watch your stamina. Not only will you oversleep the next morning in which you will wake up at 9 instead of 6, but reaching zero stamina will automatically end your day. This is why it's good to have a stable supply of food at the very beginning. Number 3. Farming Speaking of food supplies, you might want to plot tree by tree tiles and plant some stone fruits. You can strategize on how many crops you will use as seeds and how many you would use for consumption. For example, you can gather 8 seeds in the beginning and just pick up other wild crops for stamina. That way, you'd have some supply in the coming days. Make sure to plant some cattails for your spirits too, as this item boosts their speed and you can also consume it for stamina. It has a double purpose. Number 4. Fishing If you need instant stamina, then quickly make 200 gold and buy a fishing rod at Tobin's. Fishing only costs 5 stamina, while fishes gives a minimum of plus 20 stamina when you eat them. And if you're lucky, you might get higher rank fishes that give some more stamina. Number 5. Sprinklers But in case you really want to get that farming game going on, which I highly recommend that you should, then make sure that you craft some sprinklers as soon as possible so that you don't waste your time and stamina in watering your plants. You can get the crafting recipe of this by opening chests from Dungeons & Caves. Number 6. Crafting Materials Do not sell your wood and stones. Keep them on your bag at all times because you'll never know if you'll ever need to craft some bridges in dungeons or when crossing islands. You'd also need a lot of this once you've unlocked your barn. Number 7. Unlocking the Barn You can quickly unlock your barn by doing Zed's first quest. He'll ask you to tame a level 5 spirit, which you can easily find once you cross islands. And for that, you'll be needing to craft a broom or to craft a hecking lot of bridges. Well, the balloon works too, but it'll take a very long time to fly over. Don't worry, I'll be showing you how to quickly craft a broom next. Number 8. The Broom and Moonstones It's highly recommended to craft your broom very early in the game so that you don't waste your time and resources. Here's what you gotta do to quickly craft your broom. Every night, there is one moonstone per island. Starting at 7pm, you can sweep the whole map and find them. You only need 5 initially, so you can spend your first 5 evenings in finding them. They also drop from chests that you can find in caves and dungeons, so in the morning, you can do those, and in the evening, you can search the island for moonstones. While waiting, you can also craft a furnace whose recipes will be provided by Fera after a quest. It's advisable to craft at least 3 furnaces to speed things up. Once you're done making 3 copper, 3 iron, and 1 moonstone bars on your furnace, you can now craft a moonstone enchanter and then your broom. Number 9. Early Money Making Honestly, in this game, money is not an issue. Money won't be an issue in the beginning because taming and banishing a couple of spirits will land you a good amount of money. All you have to do is just continue exploring and fighting. Initially, you can find a couple of spirits at the cave. Just hit a couple of rocks and then the entrance will spawn. You can also find two more spirits at the first dungeon. When you need some money, just go to Zed's lab and present your research. You can earn way more once you've visited other islands and discovered more spirits, so craft your broom as soon as possible. You can also sell your colorful gemstones to Fera for a higher price than it originally is at Osana's cell crate. Number 10. Enjoy the simple gameplay. Lastly, you really just have to explore Moonstone Island. 
This game is all simple, cute, and very fluffy, so you shouldn't stress too much about it. You can just enjoy the stunning visuals and the fun gameplay that it brings. I should listen to myself sometimes. And that's about it! Thank you once again to Studio Supersoft for your hard work on this game and for the free key! You awesome! I'll be giving away free Moonstone Island keys when the game's officially released, of course. So maybe hit that like and subscribe to get updated or something. I don't know. Like, subscribe, bye bye